Welcome back guys, here we are in our normal index file in our source file. So we've just got our theme provider, we've got our global styles and then we've got our hello world thing here. So in this video we are going to make some of our styled components. And I'm going to start off by creating a new folder in here called components. So this is a React components folder, I mean you can call it whatever you want but it's just semantically nice to call it React, or we'll call it components. Um, inside here, I'm going to have a styles folder. So our components folder is going to consist of, so I'm just adding a TS file here and I'm going to add a, another index.ts file inside our styles. But the way I like to build my components is I keep all my styled components in a styles folder inside of components. So that's different from our styles inside source. This is for configurations. So we've got global and our index just exports global and theme. Those are more configuration styles that go in our source. But actual styled components, components that are styled, I'm going to put inside a components folder inside a styles folder. I mean, we'll have other folders in here. I think uh, one of the things we're going to build is our grid and our, what else? We, we have, we're going to have a new button later on and we're going to have a, finally, like my numbers that I want to press. Those are just kind of buttons, the two other ones, but I'm going to delete them for now. Um, we we will stick with styles for now and in our styles folder we're going to create in this video we'll create a few things we'll create a card a card styled component we will create a content styled component that's kind of just like our content wrapper kind of thing so very basic and then our title um i think i'm going to start with the contents just because it's the most simple component that we have to build. And we'll make a index.ts file here. Just make sure this is bigger so you guys can see. I'm sorry about that. So for our content, we're going to import styled from styled components. And now that we've got that, we will export const content. That's what we're calling it. And this will just be a styled div. So this is how the syntax kind of works. You say styled.div. I think this is the first time we're using that. And for this div, I want it to be styled to have a max width, not margin, a max width of 500 pixels. So this just means when we get to a big screen, like our desktop screen here, we will have a max width of 500. We're gonna make it display flex, uh, flex one, so it takes up all its space flex direction column because we don't want it to be going horizontally we want it to be vertically displaying our items and then we justify content center so everything inside this will be centered i think that's all we need for our content here so what we're going to do is in our styles index remember it's this index here um, we want to export all from dot slash content because we have created content now and in our components folder, we want to export all from dot slash styles. So this theoretically means that we can import, I'm going to put this here for now. We can import another thing. We can import our content component that we have created directly from dot slash components, because if you can see in here, our components folder exports all from styles and our styles exports all from content. Um, and what's inside content is our content. So this gets exported into styles from there, it gets exported out from components and from there it gets exported out so we can get it from components here. So I'm gonna put my stuff inside content. Um, you shouldn't really see a difference yet. Uh, so I'm not even gonna run the application because this is just pretty much to, to get it going. I mean, I can yarn start just to check that our app is actually running. So while we wait for that to happen. Sorry, my terminal's a bit buggy. It, it like has the on start and then it, you know, it has a gap of nothing and then stuff happens again. So, I mean, our, our application is starting up here. Uh, just got to make it smaller. There we go. Um, oh, this is a bit of a mess now. I'm going to close this for now, just so that we have that there. Oh, uh, you can see it does actually get, you know, centered here. I mean, it's not centered inside here because we've done a bit of a mess here, but uh, let me just close all of these so we can see things again. But um, in general, yeah, our hello world has moved because it now sits inside content. Um, 
so and content is actually centered so the whole content div is centered if we if we gave content a background of again yellow we would see some changes happening and you see our content is centered it's got some you know the the root has some padding so there's some padding there we can see that all under the global styling so global styling we see we have that 15px padding that's what the space here is and this space over here is and that's basically our our content styled components the next thing i want to add in is a title so the title we will go start a new index.ts here and for title we are going to make a styled what are we doing i'm trying to think now um we're going to import styled again and css from styled components this time we're going to use a theme so that's why i'm importing css as well and over here we're going to export const title and we will say styled it's going to be an h1 tag so you know the previous one we were styling a div this one we're styling a title i'm actually going to change this back remove that background color because it's bugging me uh but things failed it's it's fine it can stay failed for now we haven't actually finished what we're working on so here we're going to have our theme remember we're basically destructuring theme from props when we do this and we have our css ignore that so the color here is going to be i want it to be white but you know later on we might change our theme to be different so that's why i'm just going to use the color variable white and remember we have set that color variable in our themes folder over here so if we look at that color white here is white so we're good there so back to our title here the other thing i want to set in here i just want to set it to have a text align center and then a margin top of zero i'm actually gonna put that up there because i like it to be alphabetical because i am weird that way so again same thing we will export all from dot slash title here and that's pretty much good to go again that title gets exported out of here from styles and then in our in our actual app over here we can import title as well from components now and um yeah let's let's import our title remember our title is basically an h1 tag now so we can use that by pretty much typing in sudoku over here i spelled that wrong so we've got that and there we go we have sudoku um if we inspect our elements here um, we can see that's our root this is kind of our content section and this is our title section so one way to identify these better is to add some sort of data tags to it um i usually add a uh, data cy tag to it because i use cypress to do my end-to-end -end testing so we're not going to do that in this tutorial but i'm just for consistency going to do that so i'll call this content and i'll data cy call this title so we can do our tests and see if the things match up so we can actually reference them so now we see that's content and that is title so it's a little bit better nicer to use uh there's not anything else we really need to do there i think we have enough time to quickly go and do our card component actually you know what let's skip the card component uh, i'd rather do that in the next video i'll catch you then cheers guys